After weeks of dealing with scandals, the president is struggling to reset his agenda. And with Congress off this week, he has a chance to do so. But even as he tries to limit damage from the IRS uproar, Republicans are demanding a broader investigation. There's clearly an organized effort within the IRS to target political opponents of the president. That's undeniable. How does such a culture come about? How vast was it? Who was involved? This really does call for a special counsel. The president wants his attorney general to review whether his own Justice Department has gone too far pursuing those leak investigations targeting reporters. And I've raised these issues with the attorney general who shares my concerns. But Republicans are pressing for a special counsel for that as well, noting Eric Holder was involved in seeking a search warrant against Fox reporter James Rosen. You cannot investigate yourself. <clears throat> and I think it's a total conflict of interest. We have to be determined to stop these crimes. Mr. Obama is also dealing with a sexual assault scandal in the military, giving Republicans a new line of attack. I think the constellation of these three scandals ongoing really takes away from the president's moral authority to lead the nation. Nobody questions his legal authority, but I think he's really losing the moral authority to lead this nation. It passes. Immigration reform, a top priority for the president, is headed to the Senate floor after winning committee approval. But it's not clear there are 60 votes to stop a Republican filibuster. And his new push to close the Guantanamo facility is facing stiff opposition on Capitol Hill. I once again call on Congress to lift the restrictions on detainee transfers from Gitmo. So after a Memorial Day break, Mr. Obama faces no shortage of political headaches. Dan Lothian, CNN, the White House.